Mechanical features highlighted in the Minnesota Senate building include the fabrication and installation of plumbing, piping, and heating and air conditioning systems. Horwitz Mechanical Construction and Service is a New Hope-based company responsible for the design, fabrication, and installation of plumbing and heated and chilled water systems for the building, and also for the installation of heating, ventilation, and air conditioning systems. The plumbing prefab would be the the uh, bathroom batteries, some of the work at the sinks, some of the standalone bathrooms. We've got waste and vent pipe pre-cut. We palletize those things. We send them out to the job site. The guys out on the job site take them, uh, take those parts up to the, the locations, put them in place. It's a much more safe, efficient process. Designing these mechanical systems is like putting together a large puzzle. First, a number of sketches and drawings are created. In the case of the plumbing and piping systems, where bathroom groups and heated and chilled water pipes will connect throughout the building, individual pieces are assembled into sections at the shop. These would be the pipes for the chilled water system. They're the supply and return for the chilled water system that would go to your chiller to cool the building. Travis now is working on the hot water system, which would be to heat the building. So. Those are the two, basically the two main systems that are going to be in most of your buildings is just your heating and your cooling. On the fitting side, we've got work at the, the uh, mechanical rooms in the basement and the mechanical enclosure up on the roof. So that's a big part of the, it's a highly coordinated space. And for our fitters to have things, parts come out to them pre-assembled, it's a big time, time savings for the project. So the prefab came here. Uh, we fly it off of the truck with the tower crane, landed on our uh, feeder scaffold, wheel it in here on the carts, bring it over. We disassemble the uh, uh, unistrut and everything that holds it together, get, set, get that off, mark where everything goes, and then we can just slide it right into place, anchor it down, hook up the rest of the venting and the water lines, and away you go, let the framers come in and do their do their job. So we get we got a lot of work that we can do in the shop that we don't have to be holding up the framers here, so we can keep them going forward, keep the job going faster. Time savings and safety are major components of the prefabrication process, both desired outcomes that can ultimately lead to better efficiency on the overall building project. At Dyke and Applied Americas Incorporated in Oatana. Air handling sections are made to move air throughout the building to heat and cool the space. The system is designed for energy efficiency and ease of maintenance and begins nearly from scratch. Generally speaking, to build an entire air handling unit, we start with raw sheet metal. It comes in a roll. We have machines that cut it, punch it, bend it, form it into the shapes that we need. We, in these particular units, there is an exterior skin and an interior skin, and in between there, we do a foam insulation so that the unit is insulated and doesn't sweat uh, as it cools the building. Uh, so we take all that raw sheet metal, we build every piece that goes in the unit. We may either make or purchase fans that go into the units to move the air. We obviously build a rack to put filters in to filter the air, and then we'll actually build the heating and cooling coils in the unit that transfer the heat from the water to the air. Uh, we build those right here in this factory. So almost from scratch, we build everything out of raw materials and turn it into an air handling section that goes into the building to provide its comfort conditioning. Pieces and parts are made individually, then assembled into a larger unit on what is called a station built line. So each station has its purpose. You start with the basic framework for the unit, you start putting the components into the framework, and then you put the skin on the outside of the framework. So you end up basically with an insulated box that has its air conditioning components inside of it. And in this case, there are four different boxes that make up one entire unit. When they are put into the building, the contractor will assemble them into four individual units. Somewhere in the building, there'll be chilled water and hot water supplied to them so that they can move air across heating coils and cooling coils and cool or heat the building depending on the season. The plumbing and piping systems assembled in New Hope combine with the air handling units produced in Oatana to bring energy efficiency and comfort to both visitors and tenants of the new building.